What's going on people? I just thought I'd show you my new setup. I don't like a right tip, but hopefully it's gonna help get some better footage. Obviously I'm filming this on my phone right now just to show you the camera. But me and Layla are gonna go on the school run to get Tyler. And I'll just do a little test. So you can see, it's my new camera. I've got a rather attractive little um, body suit thing <laughs> with a connector to connect me uh, pocket free to the suit so hopefully we get a bit less vibrations and i got my mic on there but obviously that's not an EV yet because i'm on my phone just to show you the setup yeah amazon 15 quid for the belt and 15 quid for the adapter so that you can connect the camera to it so all these little um extras they do add up but there's a proof in the pudding let's take it for a spin the new setup next time you see me i'll be filming on my pocket free using the mic and me and Layla will be having a little bike ride catch you in a sec right people we're now on the pocket free uh, I've got face tracking on at the minute and uh just going to show you the, the selfie view which I'm riding my bike with the camera facing me using the um DJI Iron Mic 2 is it with the pocket free camera um but I've not got the uh, windbreaker on, so you might hear a little bit of wind. That's just because I forgot. Uh, it's pouncing around quite a bit, the old chest man. I'm going to face it forward now. <sighs> so you can see where I'm going. There we go. Um, I'm just going to move it up a little. Too high. Uh, don't really know where's a good spot. That'll do. And uh, again, Honey and Lordswood, just doing the old school run on the bike. To be fair, it's only about a 10 minute walk. And we've got about 20 minutes until we've got to pick Tyler up. So we're going a slightly longer way. Um, just to get a little bit of a test, I suppose. Well, I will say, <laughs> Doug there, the camera's moving about more than I anticipated um, perhaps I've done something wrong but that's what these videos are about trying to, to perfect things obviously I can look back on them see where I went wrong make adjustments you guys can see whether this is a good camera to have for riding bikes of course it's not your typical GoPro or action camera um, but what it is, is very versatile, very small. You can use it for a whole number of things. Um, so it's a good all-rounder, if you like. The fact that you can buy a few accessories and then use it as an action camera is a massive bonus. It's got, um, it's got to slow down a bit, I can't remember. Layla's not on an e-bike, bless her. She's on a mountain bike. We're just going through Kestrel now. You might have seen this in one of my last videos. Um, I'll take you through the woods quickly. Should have time. Not all the way through the woods, I'll just go through a little bit of woodland. <laughs> so we can see what that looks like. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna cross over at the lights like a good girl. So I've got Layla with me. But yeah, one thing that is nice about this man, it's not in the way. You can just ride your bike, chat away, like it's not even on you. So that, that's definitely a good point. Um, but it's just moving more than I anticipated. But will it affect the footage? That's a good question. It's never going to be perfect on the bike, is it? But is it watchable? Right, it's going to run. Do the lights here. Just missed them, typical. Uh, yeah, this is the area where I live, Lordswood, which you've seen a few times now. Right, come in later. There we go. We'll just take you through this little bit of woods here. Quite a lot of woods in Lordswoods. Lordswood, hence the name, hence the name. Uh, <laughs> not to state the obvious. Alright, 
Later, we cut through these trees. Yes, that's Layla in front of me there. Layla, through the woods. <laughs> right, bit of off-roading. Beer monster goes off-road on his bike. <laughs> There's lots of acorns because it's that time of year, Layla. And uh, we normally come to the woods and you get loads of chestnut trees around here. And um, we collect the chestnuts and we cook them at home and they're really nice. We've messed about with lots of different recipes. Perhaps I'll show it if people want to see how to identify, cook and prepare chestnuts. Just make sure they're not bleeding the horse chestnuts because you'll get very ill or, or maybe even die because um, they're poisonous. Oh, we'll cut back through around the way we just come and we'll start heading towards Tyler's school. Obviously, I'm not going to walk into the school while I was filming and stuff like that for obvious reasons. But we'll, um, we'll go up near Tyler's school <coughs> before we stop filming. And um, obviously, once I've done a few more bike rides, perhaps I could review this camera uh, as an actual bike riding camera. I will say, on the old chest, man, you look like a prat. There's no denying it. It looks like I've got a massive black penis in between me cleavage. Um, yeah, so if you're comfortable looking like that, it, it seems pretty good. <laughs> but there's no denying you do look stupid. It just has to be said, you know. I'd be lying if I, if I said I thought it looked cool. <laughs> People are even looking at me like, well, what is he doing? Sort of thing, you know? And they wasn't doing that when it was mounted to the handlebars. So just food for thought, I suppose. You do look like a right bell end. But I, if you are a bell end anyway, you know, you're used to looking like a bell end, I suppose. And I guess I kind of come into that category. Big fat guy on an e bike. Not saying you see very often. So why not make him look even more stupid, I guess? Eh? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not sure how far Layla is behind, but I'm going to slow down a bit. Not that I'm going that fast, but say, you don't realise on your old e-bike how much of an advantage you have over someone who's on a normal bike, even if they are way skinnier, way younger. Um, <laughs> it really does help a lot. Uh, she's not far behind. She's just joining up with me now. I switched to the uh, selfie camera. Have another little go at that. Love the way it just turns around. Uh, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, very cool. But that, that, that's, you know, you wouldn't get that with a GoPro, would you? So, Hello. why it's not as, definitely not as robust as a GoPro for this sort of thing. You do get good footage and it does have some features that you're not gonna get on a GoPro, like the rotating bezel and stuff, face tracking and, oh well, you might be able to get that on a GoPro, I don't know. But um, there's face tracking and then there's face tracking with that rotating bezel thing, which is different gravy. I could set it to like track later in front of me if I wanted to. And the camera will just follow her around and make her like the kind of vocal point of the video, which is very nice. Um, anyway, it's probably enough of my ugly mug. Um, actually, I might as well stay like this because uh, I'm going to wrap it up in a minute. It's just a quick one. It's just to, um, it's the camera out. Do it right here later. That's it. Um, yeah, let me know on your thoughts. Was, was the video quality good? Um, if I'm happy with it once I watch it back, I might make this the last test video and actually try and take it somewhere interesting on the next bike ride video if you like. Maybe do like a little series. But the thing is, I can't fit the bike in the car, so I've kind of got to start off at the same point every time, which is kind of annoying as far as varying up the content goes, you know? It's um, not ideal. But, um, I could always cycle to somewhere and then show you me cycling back or I don't know, cycle somewhere and have a beer, maybe cycle to a pub, I'm thinking, cycle to a pub, 
Train the bike up in the beer garden, do a beer review in the pub, a little pub review while I'm there. Perhaps sort of show the menu, what the bar place has got to offer. And also getting out on my bike as well at the same time, and I? And um, I can just detach this from my chest and use it as a vlogging camera as well. Um, so test out that sort of versatility of it. Um, I'm coming up to tie the school now. So I'm going to end it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, please give me your feedback in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out. It don't cost you anything. And it helps us build up, you know, more beer monsters, should we say. Uh, till next one, people. Bye-bye, darlings. Bye.